All right then gang, so now we have our word list created and every time we refresh the page, we're getting a different random word from that list. So now we can plug that random word into our word or game that we're gonna create. Now to create this game, we're gonna to have to write a fair amount of game logic to do things like track the user guesses, uh, to colorize the letters, to check if the guess is correct, etc. all that kind of stuff. So the approach I'm gonna take is to make a custom Wordle hook where we can write all of that code and game logic. And then we can just use that hook from our React components to implement that functionality and logic. And this way we're keeping the UI of our application separate from most of the logic as well. So let's make a hooks folder, first of all, inside the source folder. So any custom hooks we make are gonna go inside there. And then inside the folder, I'm gonna create a new file called use wordle.js. All right, so inside this file to begin with, we just wanna create and export a function. So let's say const and then call the function use wordle. And then we set that equal to an empty arrow function to begin with. And then at the bottom of the file, we can export the function by saying export default use wordle. Also, I want to accept an argument into this hook, which will be the solution for this particular game. Remember, we grabbed a random solution in the app component before, and every time we refresh the page, that solution is going to be different, right? So when we call the hook later on from a React component, we're going to pass in that solution so that we can accept it right here and use it. So now we have this hook, I just want to flesh a few things out inside of it. The first thing I want to do is create a few functions that we're going to use at different stages of the application build. So the first function I want to create is a function that's going to format a new guess when a user submits a word. So they're going to type a five letter word and hit enter to submit that word. And it's going to be a string, right? But then we need to take that string and we need to format it into an array of objects where each object represents a letter in the string that they submitted. And each of those objects is going to have a key property, which is the letter itself, like A, B or C or E or something else. And also a color property, which is going to be green, yellow or gray. Remember, if we submit a word, the game tells us which of the letters in that word is correct by using colors. Green means that the letter is in the right place. Yellow means the letter is in the word, but not in the right place. And gray means that the letter isn't in the word at all. So we're going to have a function in this hook, which is going to take our guess and format it into an array of letter objects where we have a key property and a color property for each letter. So let's make that function and call it format guess. And all we're going to do is just leave it as a blank arrow function for now. And we'll fill this in later. All right, then. So the next function I want to make is going to be a function which takes our formatted guess and adds it to some kind of history of guesses, if you like. And these guesses are gonna be stored in some state inside this hook, so that we can later cycle through those guesses in our React components and output them onto the game grid. Also in this function, we're gonna check whether the guess that we're adding is correct. And by that, I mean whether it matches the solution word. And we'll store that information in some state as well. And finally, in the function, we'll add one to the turn number so that we can keep track of what turn the user is currently on. And again, that turn is going to be stored as a piece of state inside this use Wordle hook. All right. So we have two functions so far, one to format a new guess and one to add a new guess to the state as well as update other bits of state as well. The final function I want to add is one which can handle a key up event so that when a user types a new letter, we handle that event to keep track of what word or guess they're typing. And that word can be stored in some state inside this hook as well, so that we always have information about what their current guess is as they're typing it. Also in this function, we need to detect when a user hits the enter button because that's when a user is submitting a new guess, right? So we need to detect that as well later. So anyway, let's call this final function handle key up. And again, it's just going to be an empty arrow function for now. So we now have three functions. I also want to add some state at the top of this hook as well, which we're going to use as we go forward. So to begin with, let's import the use state hook from React at the top of the file, since we're going to be using that quite a lot in this hook. 
And then what I'm going to do is just paste in all of the different bits of state that we need. And I'm going to explain each one of them in turn. And by the way, you can copy all of these yourself from the course files on the GitHub repo. The link to that, remember, is down below the video. So first up, we've got turn and set turn. And the initial value of that is going to be zero. And this is pretty self-explanatory. This bit of state is going to track what turn the user is on. So every time a user adds a new guess, this is going to go up by one. And then when a user runs out of turns, when they've had six guesses, it's game over. Next up, we've got current guess and set current guess, which is an empty string to begin with. And this bit of state is for tracking what the user is currently typing in their current guess. And it's going to be updated every time they hit a new key on their keyboard using that function that we created called handle key up. All right. So the next one is guesses and set guesses, which is an empty array to begin with. And as the user submits more guesses, we're going to add new guesses to this array. And the guesses that we add are going to be those formatted guesses that we talked about created by that format guess function that we made before. And then we can cycle through these formatted guesses inside a React component later on to output them onto the grid. Next up, we've got history and set history, which is also an empty array to begin with. And this is a bit like the guesses state in that we're going to store the user's past guesses in this array. The difference, though, is that in the history array, the guesses are going to be simple strings, just words. Whereas in the guesses array, the guesses are going to be formatted guesses, which include the color of each letter as well. And the reason we need this separate history state is to check that the user doesn't submit any duplicate guesses. And we'll see exactly how that works later on. And finally, we've got the is correct state, which is a Boolean false to begin with. And this is only going to change to true when the user wins the game. And at that point, we can use that value to show a modal or something in the UI to say congratulations. So that's all the state we need for now. And the last thing we need to do is just return a few values from this hook so that we can use them in other React components later on when we invoke this hook. So at the bottom of the function, we can just return an object with the different things inside the object that we want to allow access to when we use this hook. So that's going to be the turn state, the current guess, the guesses, the is correct state, and also the handle key up function. These are the things that we're going to need from outside of the hook when we're using it in other components. We don't need to return the other two functions because we're not going to be calling those functions from outside of the hook. They're only going to be called from the key up function inside here when a user submits a new guess. So then, my friends, that's the skeleton of this hook done. And next up, we're going to start fleshing out this key up handler function to track a user's current guess.